the hope that will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Hello everyone and fellow dreamers, welcome to my channel Lauren's Floating Lights. In today's video we are off to the second day of Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival 2024 and I'm going to show you some gluten-free foods that they have available this year. I'm going with my friend Beth, also known as Beauty and the Beth on Instagram, definitely check her out and I will see you there. We're now at Epcot and this is my first time going in the annual pass holder line. We've got our festival passport for this year and look at the first topiary. That's greeting us in front of Spaceship Earth. There's Valentino and Asha and the star. We are just in the shop right under Spaceship Earth and they've got a lot of cool ears in here at the moment. Oh my gosh, look at the Easter Mickey. He is so, so sweet. They also have Easter Minnie as well and she looks like a little ballerina and they've all got the 2024 on their feet. I love saying hi to Walt whenever I come into Epcot. He's just there watching over the park. Okay, so in the passport, you're gonna open to page 12 and that's where it's gonna have the allergy-friendly menu. You just scan it and it'll tell you what's gluten-free, dairy-free, etc. The first topiary that we have found is Figment and he looks very cute, I have to admit. On our way to Nemo, we've just come across the Lion King topiary. We were gonna go on Nemo because it is starting to rain, but it's 20 minutes and the queue's outside. So we're just going in to have a look at the fish. We're now in the aquarium area after the season Nemo, friends, and there's a big tail here. There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful tropical fish. There's the huge not-so-hidden Mickey down there with the shark. Instead of ears, Beth is actually just gonna wear a jellyfish hat all day. I went my whole CRP without buying a poncho. Wait, it's not raining anymore. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and we've had to buy a poncho because it was raining so heavily but now it's not raining and it's definitely getting lighter out here but at least we have one for future reference yeah. you know Bo Peep and her sheep and Woody are also going to be right next to Figment they've got quite a few topiaries around here this is a classic annual topiary that they have here at Flower and Garden they have Pluto as well this is the Blossom to Fragrance area and it's lovely it says out of all five senses scent is most strongly connected to memory it's so interesting these smell incredible you can just walk around and there's Beth <laughs> smell the different scents is it good? It smells good. Yeah, really it smells good. good. Okay, come on then. Let's have a sniff. <laughs> oh, it smells well. Nice. Look at Beth now. She's got her sunglasses on. Poncho off. Sun shining. It's a great time. <laughs> so the first booth as you walk towards Canada is going to be the pineapple promenade. I'm not going to eat here. However, on the allergy friendly menu, it doesn't say anything is gluten free but possibly the doll Whip could be. At Swilled Showcase, you can actually ask for some of the ice cream without the cone and just get it in a cup and that can be modified to be gluten-free for you. At Northern Bloom, which is located in the Canada Pavilion, you're gonna have two gluten-free options. So the seared scallops and the beef tenderloin tips are both gluten-free. The beef is a total of 7.25 and no annual pass discount. Okay, you tell me your thoughts first. That is so good. Is it? Okay, I'm excited now. Oh my god. It's so good, right? That's like a 10 out of 10 straight away. Yeah. Uh, it's like a roast dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. In the Canada Pavilion Victoria Gardens, there is a topiary over here. It's beautiful. We've just come to see the waterfall next to Canada far and wide. I feel like a lot of guests might not know that this is here. Near my home pavilion, we have Peter and Hook. And on the other side, we also have TikTok the crocodile, which I'll show you. There he is causing mischief. They have lots of Winnie the Pooh characters here in the UK pavilion as well. They're so sweet. And over here we have Rabbit and Pooh Bear as well. We're now heading into France to see the Beauty and the Beast topiary and go on Ratatouille and Beth wants to get some food. I've actually brought a gluten-friendly cookie with me because I love these cookies. They were in my Discovery Co vlog and they're one of the best brands that I've had here in America. Over here, we also have Belle and the Beast. They look beautiful. They're pretty much here every year in the same spot. This is the chicken kebab, which is gluten-free, and the lamb one is as well from the Tangerine Cafe. I pulled this off of the kebab stick and it is amazing. There's a nice sauce and they've got the chickpeas and the carrots and it tastes like barbecue food, which I love. Not exclusive to Farm Garden, but this is the uh, frozen citrus pomegranate sushi. Is it's it good? like my favorite thing in Epcot and I was just really fancying it and it's like 
nice and refreshing. The most delicious thing ever. <laughs> right guys, we're now in Japan and on the QR code, it doesn't say what the allergy friendly options are for Hanami, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Prushi is gluten free. I just had a look, the lovely cast member showed me the sheet of allergies and the Prushi seems to be good. It does have milk and soybean in it though. This looks amazing. I've never had this before and it's a staple piece at the Flower and Garden Festival. So let's give it a go. I feel like this is a big moment. Wait, am I cutting it? Should I be doing that? I, I mean, you do what you want. Okay. <laughs> Sorry if I've offended anyone. I've never, ever had sushi or frushi before. You like it? Mm hmm It's so sweet. Yeah, it's a, it's weird, isn't it? Like, you don't expect it to be as sweet. Yeah, it's a really sweet dessert if that's your thing. I'd probably give it, like, like an eight. I probably would have it again, it's nice. With the frushi, it was only about $7 and the portion was massive. I could only eat two pieces and I went and asked some people if they wanted the rest. I was like, I like it, it's just too big, but they were getting their own. So um, I feel pretty wasteful. That's just something to keep in mind if you ever have a portion, it might be good to share it. But Beth doesn't like frushi, so Sorry. I couldn't share it with her. <laughs> the American Adventure Pavilion, Tiana is out here. She looks stunning. They're in Italy and this is Lady in the Champ. Lady looks like she's been dragged through a hedge backwards. We're now in Germany and we're going to see the Snow White topiary. I honestly think this is one of the best ones. Look at all the seven dwarves, they're so cool. Beth just pointed out that there's a lizard on either arm of snow. She just attracts all of the animals. Just past the Germany pavilion, they have the potato pancakes on the menu, which are gluten free. So I'm not getting anything from Refreshment Outpost either. I'm so full after the frushi. However, the seasonal fruit parfait and the ice cream float are both gonna be gluten free. Here in the China pavilion, of course, they have the classic pandas. These are here every year as well. I believe this area is the new China Penjing Garden. This is beautiful. So many different plants here. Elsa and Anna look very powerful, stood right over Norway as you enter through China. We're gonna go and see how long the line is to meet Anna and Elsa. It says 30 minutes, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks more than 30, so we're gonna come back later. This is the Coco one right outside of Odyssey. This is brand new for 2024. I love it. It's so colorful and vibrant and it really shows off the movie and it does remind me of Phil and Magic in Magic Kingdom as well with all the colors. If you are an orange bird fan in Citrus Blossom in Odyssey, they have a lot of merch in here. Well, it's like a little stand and they've got plant pots and plushes and spirit jerseys and Christmas tree decorations. By Connections and Test Track, you're gonna find Huey, Dewey and Louie. They're very, very cute. Right next to Connections Eatery, you're gonna find Donald in his community garden. He's working hard, he's slaving away, making magic. We are now about to go to Save the Galaxy with the Guardians and my personal favorite songs are gonna be Everybody Wants to Rule the World and I Ran. But I think we're saying September today, right? That would be I September. So. That would, be would be a good vibe. But I do love everybody wants to rule the world. Me as well. too. I love this view. I think it's one of the best photo spots in Epcot. Beth, what are we doing now? Sitting in the garden queue because we're stuck. Yeah, it's temporarily closed on the app, so we're still here. Everybody wants to rule the emergency exit because we got evac out of the queue of Guardians. But apparently we can come back later when it's up and running. We've actually not done a single ride today, have we? No. This is the new Groot Topiary. He is so cool. Look at the little cute fuzzy insects as well. We're gonna get a picture because Beth has photo pass. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> You're gonna find Buzz Lightyear right outside of Mission Space. This is your warning. Hydrate when you're in the parks, guys. Come on, you gotta hydrate. It's so easy to just walk around, especially in Epcot, just walk around World Showcase and not have any water. Whenever you're at Disney, don't forget, you can just go to the quick services and ask for ice water. And it's free. Cheers to that. Free water. 
it's refreshing, it's crispy. <laughs> We're now popping into the Shanghai Disney Resort exhibition in the China Pavilion. If you've never been in here before, definitely make time for it. You can pop in for a couple of minutes, have a look around. I feel like it's very underrated and people don't talk about it that much, but it basically has um, lots of memorabilia and artwork and even costumes from the Shanghai Resort. In Fantasyland in Shanghai, they have some tangled things in the voyage to the Crystal Grotto. Did you see that in Tokyo Disney Sea? they're actually gonna be opening a tangled section along with Frozen and Peter Pan's Neverland? I would give my soul to go there. Hi Mulan, how are you? Hello, you look beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, let me choose out my uniform today. You look amazing. She's going to do anything to it myself ever since I cut it with yeah, a spoon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she yeah. can't get involved with oh, it, right? Yes, not at all. <laughs> because he's been practicing his fire breathing a little too much. I don't want my hair to be singed. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll yell back what he always tells me dishonor on you, dishonor <laughs> on your family. Dishonor, dishonor on your cow. cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just went and met Mulan and it was so magical. Beth got a message for a friend back home and Mulan mentioned Merida and Mirabelle and Mushu and said about creating like an M club because Beth's friend um, is called Mia. And it was just so magical, I did shed a few tears. <laughs> this is Deja Vu, we're walking back to Guardians to see if we can get on it this time if it's up and running. We made it, woo woo, we're going on Guardians. Which row on Guardians is your favourite? Let me know in the comments. You're all heroes. Look, do you really think they deserve to be called heroes? And do you see how they dress? Ah, it's just a figure of speech, Drax. Ah, you are lying to them. Now I understand. <laughs> Welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. We just got off of Guardians and we got Disco Inferno. It's so good. I love that ride, it's my favourite as well as Mansion in Magic Kingdom. We're now in Club Cool. My favourite is going to be the Royal Watermelon from the Philippines. Which one's your favourite? I like this one, the Joy. Joy from Korea. from Korea? That yeah. looks good. Let me know which is your favourite. Okay, we attempted to go on Nemo this morning, but we are back. We did get a lightning lane because we were meant to go on Remy, but that went down. And we went to go on Test Track, but they didn't accept the lightning lane. So here we are on one of our favorites, which is Nemo. And you might think I'm crazy for using a lightning lane on this, but you know, this this is one of the best. We just keep your eyes open for along the way. Nemo! Oh, let's go explore, explore, explore. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bouncy, the looks like a balloon. Oh, yeah, jellyfish! Right! We are now on our way out of Epcot. We've had the best day. Have you had a good time? I've had the best time. It's yeah. been so fun. It's been so good. And it's only like nearly 4 p.m. and we've had such a productive day. Bye! <laughs> Be sure to follow along at Lawrence Float and Lights on Instagram and TikTok for daily magic. Have a magical day. See you all soon. Bye!